Alright, what's going on guys? Prodigy here and welcome to week 1 slash 2 of the Rise of Iron Loot Hall series. Now, I said I was going to end the Taken King series. I believe we were on uh, episode 11 and we're going to be starting this one with a 1 slash 2 because in the very first week I was just grinding my ass off on my Titan. I didn't get to touch my other two characters until this weekend, or yeah, this la this past weekend. And so I was able to bring their light levels up to do the Nightfalls, do the Raid, and just get their overall light levels a lot higher. Now, I just wanted to say that this next week I am going to going to Comic-Con. I hope to do a, a, a sort of new uh, thing on my channel. I wanted to do sort of a vlog of Comic-Con and see how it is, see how what my editing skills are for that. I'll be bringing my laptop. I won't be bringing my huge PC, so I'm not even sure if it will be able to render those videos um, with a quick and speedy uh, rendering time. It's probably going to take me a very long time. It's probably going to be pumping out a whole lot of hot air because it's, such, it's not an old laptop. It's not a great laptop. So anything, anyway, with all that being said, welcome to week one slash two of the Loot Hall series. Right. Now on my Titan oh, okay. for week one, we <laughs> got Strange Coins, which I'm pretty sure you can hear my voice in the background. I'll let it play now. Oh, fuck off! Yeah, so I was really upset about that as my very first Nightfall loot. I get Strange Coins and my friend got a, a helmet and a Titan class item. Which I probably could have used very much so when I was such a low lower level. So yeah, let's move on. Now starting week two you know, Nightfall loot on my Warlock. Guess what we get? Lucky that it managed to work More strange coins. Isn't that great? Well, what I did was when Zer came, I took 300 of my strange coins out of the 600 that I had and I turned them into modes of light so now I have a ridiculous amount of modes of light so I should be able to upgrade some factions and uh, get some faction package videos or loot videos out for you guys soon so let's move on now we're on to my hunter we actually get something we get the vanguard auto rifle the new vanguard auto rifle now the one that I got which it the perks on it uh, on the new Continental, I should say, are better than the the Extremophile Dead Orbit Auto Rifle. The perks are just better than the Extremophile, which made which made me really happy because I can use this auto rifle and not have to worry about buying the Extremophile now. Now for week two loot on my Titan, we get a. Magnol Type 2 Titan chess piece. Now, this chess piece is better than the one I had, but just slightly so. I was kind of pissed about that. So, yeah, it's on to some tower loot. Alright, guys, here we are on my Titan. Since this is week one and two, I have both of the new A Hunt for Glory. In taking it I guess so they're not called true meaning of war anymore they're just these so the first one you get a 77 wizard which I got the first one from the bounty so let's see what this one has this one has quick draw is true sight is red dot ors one hip fire enhanced battery rifled barrel some nice range accelerated coils and knee pads that's not bad. Hip fire knee pads. I'll take that. Yeah, let me go throw something in the vault real quick and uh, we'll open up the second one just so we don't have to wait for anything to. Uh, we don't have to wait for anything to get stuck. Let's go to the postmaster. Alright, let's open up the second one. This one, second one is called Taking Control. And we get the high end flighty. And we also get the Crest of Alpha Loopy. So this is the high-end flighty. Can't ever time me down. It's a pretty cool ship. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we also get an exotic. 370. I already have one 370. So I'll keep that all and fuse that into probably my other one. Or into another chess piece. For right now. 
Alright, well, Alvaro, that's not bad at all. So let's, uh, let's check out what we get from our Crucible and Vanguard packages. Okay, Lord Shax, let's see what we get from our packages here. Anything you need, Guardian. First, let's see what we're low on. We have... I don't think I can go any higher. Yeah, 370, 367, 368, anything higher? No, 367, yeah, it's pretty much maxed. And... Alright, so 365, so we've got a better helmet. So armor is what we really need, because everything else is pretty high right now so let's see if we can get a, a good piece of uh armor we can infuse in okay well we got the s39 autumn glow pretty sure i already had this one though <laughs> that rhymes so this is what it looks like not bad is that a vanguard symbol on it i think that's a vanguard symbol on it that's weird why would the crucible give me a vanguard and sparrow and it also gave me some gauntlets some 368 gauntlets. I'll put this on right now just for the light level. Just so we can have the higher light. Alright, now let's go check out what we get from our... Vanguard package. Now I'll pick armor again because we want to get higher light. So we got a Titan Mark, which is good because mine was starting to get kind of low. Oh, okay, never mind. And 369 boots. Oh, we're so close to 368. What are we low on? We're low on a helmet. That's all we're really low on. All right, let's go check out what we get from our uh, faction package. Alright guys, here we are at Executor Hideo for our cruc new monarchy, not crucible, new monarchy package. Let's see what we get. New monarchy armor, chroma, weapons. Let's look at these weapons that you can get. Some of them are pretty good. Sniper rifle is not going to be a one shot. The auto rifle is way too fast rate of fire. The hand cannon is not awful, it just doesn't have very good range. Now, this is the new Sparrow, the Regal Bearing. Not bad. Not bad at all. And they have some new marks for the Titan. Mark of the Rising. I have the exotic uh, one of the Mark of the Executor. Which is right... My character will load right here. There it is. So I don't know why they made them legendary. Because I think you put in a lot of work to get the exotic one. It should have stayed um, exotic and hard to get. Now they made a legendary version. So when you're like, oh man, look at that guy over there. He's got the same one that I have. He's, he's, he's probably legendary. So let's see if we can get a good piece of armor. Gauntlets, which is not really what we needed, but it's 369, so I'll take it. Oh, we're not 368 yet. We needed a helmet. We needed a helmet so bad. Uh, oh, well. Alright, guys, so I'm not sure how much loot I'm going to be able to get on all three characters this week. So, or these two weeks. I was only able to get the first package... Uh, the first True Meaning of War. I'm, I'm gonna keep calling it True Meaning of War just because I've been so used to it. I was able to get one of them on my Warlock, I believe. I hope. Um, if not, then we'll only do one loot on that and one loot on my Hunter. Because I haven't touched my Hunter in, uh, since Rise of Iron started. So that one's gonna be a short loot uh, part. But yeah, let's go and switch to another character. Alright guys, here we are on my Warlock. Let's check out this. Well, let's make sure we're high level. Yeah, we're good. We got all the high gear on, except for this. Should make us higher on my Hunter. Warlock. Not oh, Hunter. I'm an idiot. Alright, so let's check out this True Meaning of War. So we get. We get the Hex Cast. Oh my god. No. 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 Mm-mm. Nope. 
nope, 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 no, 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 no. You guys saw my latest video. I did a review, my first review, and that was the gun that I did it on. And uh, never again will I ever touch that gun. Nope. That is the worst thing ever of all time. That gun. Awful. Alright, so let's check out what we get for gear. We have 369, 370, 369, 365. So the ghost is really the only thing that's holding me down besides armor. Which I'm probably going to go and grab from these packages. I'm just going to get straight armor. You can see the just so we can get those up. Wow. Okay, a whole bunch of stuff. I got King Spire. Shader. I think this is the, the newer shader. Not the Rise of Iron one, but the one before that. Satan King. That's pretty cool. We also got a Bond. 367. Other side of nothing. And we got a helmet. 367. Good. I'll infuse that into my helmet that I have on right now. Still 366. What are we low on? Chest piece. Boots, especially. Alright, so we're, we need a chest piece and a boots to get my light higher. So hopefully we can get those from our Vanguard and Faction package. Alright, so I core array. What do we get? Weapon, chroma, armor. Chest piece, good. We need one. 368. Boom. We're still 367. We need a good ghost shell. Alright, let's so. Alright, so let's go check out what we get from our future war call package. Okay, guys, here we are at Lakishmi 2 for our future war cult package. Yeah. Let's see what we get. We got a ghost. Thank God we got a ghost. A 369 ghost. That's definitely going to keep me a lot higher in all my characters now. And we also got a bond, a 368 bond. So we got a 367 other side of nothing in Eon Tracer bond. 368. Not bad. Not bad at all for loot on my... Warlock. Now my hunter is a lot lower of a light level than my warlock is, so I'm not sure what great light level loot we're gonna get out of him. But uh, yeah, let's go switch to my hunter. All right, guys. So here we are. Lastly, on my hunter, I was able to bring my light level to 370 with this outbreak prime, the stellar vestige, which I got from trials this past weekend, uh, sound and fury. Uh, I got some really nice Frosties, 369, and I was able to get the Mongrel Ogre Grasp and the Cloak of Tannix, which was able to bring my light level up high enough. That way I can get, I can do with the Nightfall and all of those other things. So expect a, a review on the Outbreak Prime and the Stellar Vestige soon. Oh, great. Alright, so let's check out what we got from this bounty. We get a unending deluge. 374, wow, okay. Uh, put that on because that increases my light even higher. Not the worst perks on it. That braced frame is probably really helpful because of the high rate of fire. Good impact though, with hot swap. But I mean, most of the time when you grab heavy in uh, Crucible. Hot Top doesn't activate for a while. Alright, well that's pretty good. Let's, um, let's get rid of this. Don't really need that. Let's go check out what we get from our Crucible package. Okay, Lord checks. Let's see what we get from the package. Weapons, Chroma, Armor. Weapons, Chroma, Armor. Let's see what we're low on. We're definitely not low on weapons. We could use a new ghost, but that's what you can get from anything. Armor is not too terribly low, but we've been getting uh, armor all week. So let's grab a weapon. We get the 44 curtain call. Some pretty good impacts. 
low rate of fire, linear compensator, field choke, soft ballistics, replenish, battle runner, reinforced barrel, not bad, perfect balance, and crowd control. Those aren't bad, these perks. Crowd control, reinforced barrel, battle runner. I'll, I'll keep this for now. Plus it's 372, which I can infuse that into anything really now. Alright, so now let's check out what we get from our Vanguard package. Now I'm going to grab a weapon from this one too. Can use something here? Let's see what we get. Boom. We get a Parthian shot. Ooh, I saw those perks. Red dot ORA2, quick draw IS, OEG, Outlaw, Life Support, Perfect Balance, Lightweight, and Headseeker. Ooh. We get Headseeker, Perfect Balance, Outlaw. That's pretty good. And we can uh, increase the reload with Quick Draw. That's not bad at all. And it's 372. So I can infuse that into something. Alright, so not bad. Also, we also got a Cloak. Wet Work Cloak. Ah, uh, nah, I'm not really a fan of that. I'm going to go ahead and infuse that into my Tanix Cloak. So my Tanix Cloak is a little bit higher. Uh, now we're 372, which is pretty good. I will go ahead and infuse this into the Fusion Rifle too. And we're out of weapon parts. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go check out what we get from our Dead Orbit package. Alright guys, here we are at Iraq Jalal for our Dead Orbit package. Let's see what we get. Uh, let's see what the weapons are. The Extremophile 011. I did get a very good Vanguard auto rifle this past week. And the Sniper, I heard, was very good. It has the highest aim assist in the game. It's very low impact, but it has the highest aim assist. So that should be something we could look out for. That and it um that with if it had a hidden hand on it, that'd be really good. Alright, so let's see what we get from the weapon. Ooh, finally we got the nice Fermi solution. The dead orbit ship that I really wanted. That I've been waiting for for a long time. There it is. It's mainly white with black accents, I guess. And we also got a primary scout. Ooh, okay. We got red dot ORA. We got range lens, OEG, explosive rounds, quick draw, hammer forged, outlaw, or crowd control. That's high impact, lower rate of fire, high range, low stability. Hmm. I might have to do a review on this one too, just because it it looks like it'd do decent, but I'm not sure if it's it would be good for PvE or PvP. Alright. Well yeah, that's been the loot for this week, guys. Week one and week two, because I wasn't able to get a lot of stuff because I was just grinding on my Titan for week one. But yeah, my name's been Prodigy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.